welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Joined here with our senior draft analyst, Chris James. And now that the 2014 NFL draft is complete, Chris, let's take a look back and hand out some draft grades. We're going to take a look at the Detroit Lions to see how well Detroit did this past weekend. The Detroit Lions were already a good football team coming into the draft with the secondary being the focal point. But when you look at what they added and what they came away with, you can't argue the results. Even in round seven with kicker Nate Freeze out of Boston College who had an outstanding career in Chestnut Hill. Now, what I like most about the Lions draft was that they got a good quality football player in every round. Every selection was a guy that I wouldn't mind having starting on my football team. Guys like Kyle Van Noy out of BYU, Travis Swanson out of Arkansas, and Karan Reed out of Princeton were absolute steals. While you look at guys like Nevin Lawson out of Utah State, Larry Webster out of Division II Bloomsburg, and TJ Jones out of Notre Dame will be good contributors as role players, while Ebron is a game one impact type player. What I questioned about the Lions draft was not addressing the secondary in round one. You look at guys like Kyle Fuller, Darquez Denard, Calvin Pryor, Hassan Clinton Dix, Jimmy Ward. They were all on the board at number 10. And although Eric Ebron is an excellent player with Pettigrew and Fourier in the fold, tight end wasn't a major or even a minor need for Detroit as compared to safety or cornerback. This is more of a luxury pick by the Lions. I'm a big fan of Cornelius Lucas out of Kansas State, a 6'8", 330-pound tackle with excellent footwork. He played left tackle for the Wildcats but can easily play on the right side equally as effective. He may be a surprise starter as a rookie. Overall, I gave the Lions a B for their draft. It's hard to argue against the selections with the amount of talent they brought in, but you wonder if passing on one of the premier defensive backs will come back to haunt them this season. And I also want to give a huge shout-out to Lion Fan Forums for always showing football game plan support.